Hi, I'm Denise Sullivan with the University of Missouri Extension. I'm a nutrition and health education specialist based in Jackson County. Today, MU Extension and Harvesters, the Community Food Network, are teaming up on a series of videos to help you eat more healthy. Today, the recipe that we're preparing is apples with maple, cin maple cinnamon cream. This fast and easy apple dessert goes from start to finish in under 10 minutes. Your apples can be served warm or at room temperature or even chilled. I love this recipe because it reminds me a lot of apple pie with ice cream. By keeping your peeling on the apples today, we're gonna get more nutrition, more fiber and all those good vitamins and minerals that we look for in our fruit. And today we're going to use a combination of Granny Smith apples and Honeycrisp apples. First step today, we're going to go ahead and make our uh, cinnamon cream. Uh, and what I have here is one half cup of, van of vanilla yogurt and to that we're going to add 1 fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon and 1 eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm just going to mix that in and blend that together thoroughly and we're going to just set this aside in the refrigerator to chill just so those flavors can blend together. Okay, so now we're ready to prepare our apples. Now an easy way to core your apples this is the way I do it without an extra tool around. So I just cut through my apple down in half and then I'm gonna lay that flat side down. Again, cut that in half. And so now when we've got ourselves down to quarters, I just come in and kind of go right through that. You know, that's just what I found is a super easy way for me to get the apples cored. And now we're ready to just cut them up into slices. Okay, now we've got all of our apples sliced up and so they're ready to go into a baking pan. I'm going to go ahead and use a, a glass pie pan and to that we're going to add our re remaining ingredients. Now one of the ingredients that is an optional ingredient is just a little bit of orange zest, about a half a teaspoon. And orange zest is that, you know, the orange, the very outer part of the orange, just that colored part. And there's a few ways that you can get that zest. If you have a box grater, you can just grate that off. A little bit simpler way to, uh, to get that zest is to just use a vegetable peeler and, and peel off a sliver of that orange, of the orange peel. And so now that I've got that, I'm just going to very finely mince that. And that's going to be our orange zest that we add to our, our apple. Okay, now we're ready to just drizzle on our one tablespoon of maple syrup and toss that around so that we can kind of get our apples coated. I'm also gonna add a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. We've got some cinnamon in our yogurt sauce, but I also like to add a little extra cinnamon here One more thing to add to the top of our apples. One teaspoon of unsalted butter. When we get all of our butter on, then this is gonna be ready to go into the microwave. Okay, so we've gone half of our time, about two and a half minutes in the microwave. I'm gonna peel my covering back so that I can stir this up just a little bit more. And then we'll give it another two and a half to three minutes in the microwave. OK, 
Okay, so our apples are out of the microwave. The, and so they've been in there for about five to six minutes. Uh, so if you like them a little bit softer, go ahead and give it another minute or so in the microwave. But otherwise we are ready to serve. And there is a really quick and healthy dessert. Look for more of our uh, videos from MU Extension and Harvesters, and we hope that you will give this recipe a try and all of our recipes a try.